Two time, two time finesse, man. I heard uh, everybody talking about he been snitching, and I mean, you know, I, 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 oh yeah, I did. Nowadays, <laughs> all the rappers, you know, they they anti snitch, man. Right, you, you snitching, boy. That's like writing your own death sentence. That's what they say, but you shit, know. Gunner them proved them different. Shit, Gunner, I sold everybody when he came out. I keep trying to explain to these niggas the real world and the rap game, all that shit. It's not the streets. As much as niggas want it to be the streets, they can try all they want. Because them executives at them labels, they don't give a fuck about who's snitching. The people, the, 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 the consumers, the white little kids buying them albums and shit, making these niggas top NBA young boys and shit, they don't give a fuck. That's just the streets care about that shit, bro. That's some niggas trying to bring them street rules into the rap game because they feel like rap's supposed to represent the street. But how in the fuck rap represent the street? When you only got maybe two thirds of real street niggas that's rapping. Half them niggas is just imitating what they heard in their hood, telling their big homie stories. Cause watch this. A nigga who really getting it in, the fuck he wanna rap for? Why he wanna right. go tell on himself? Right. Self snitching, you know what I'm saying? So we gotta understand, these are the entertainers from the hood that's doing this. These are the niggas who, some of them probably did get a little money, but they are just rappers, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and with finesse two times, bro. I feel like who I heard speak on this shit turns gangsta ways, and maybe it's because some people might say because oh hell, look who he is and look what he did. That's probably why he said it. But a point he made, like what I feel like, if the nigga was a child, as they saying, okay, that's cool. This nigga have been to jail how many times since then? Cause I was always taught if a nigga tell one time, he'll tell again. Right. That's why I say we need to rewrite a lot of this shit because if the nigga was supposed to tell then when he was a child and he got older and he didn't tell none the other times, that means y'all lied to me too. Y'all didn't tell me a nigga can change his uh bad ways, I'ma say. Like y'all y'all never told me that. Y'all so oh. all these time, all this time, you know how many niggas I heard something bad about bro and I quit fucking with him or whatever or or, 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 or chastise the nigga or about some shit I done heard. Mm. Or we run niggas off from the hood because we feel like this nigga done did something. Or sometimes we don't even have proof. With that nigga, I guess it's, he said the paperwork was fake, but I think it was true. But a lot of times it's funny how you get rid of them type of niggas and them niggas still go flourish somewhere else. A lot of times them niggas go do better than the niggas who kicked them out the clique. And I was like, man, it's, it's more to this shit, bro. It got to be something else to this. But with Finesse two times, he one of them niggas. He going to be in some shit any motherfucking way. If you wasn't around this bitch talking about everybody else snitching and holding your nuts on people and all this shit, I'd probably give you a motherfucking pass. You just would have been a man and came out and said, hey, man, I was a little boy, man. I was trying to get out that shit, nigga. I didn't want to go to jail, whatever it may be. Mm. Man, I could have respected that shit. It's just when a nigga get on that bitch and they start lying about the shit. Then the niggas, I feel like you got to watch them. <laughs> he should have just came clean with the shit, bro. For real. Wow.